Let us discuss the AC circuit containing resistor only. So this is called a purely resistive circuit. Okay, so let's say we have a circuit something like this. Somewhere here we have a resistor. All right, so let's say some. Sorry. Let's say we have a resistor R. Sorry, what is this? This is the alternating EMF E. All right. So we are interested in finding the phase, uh, no, not the phase relationship. Uh, we are interested in finding the expression of the current, of the alternating current flowing in the circuit, and also the phase relationship between the alternating current and the alternating voltage. That means we have to draw the phasor diagrams. Okay, right. So let's see. Uh, let the applied the applied alternating EMF be given by be given by E is equal to E naught sine omega t. Let's call this equation number one. Okay, so therefore current flowing in the circuit is what is I which is E by R. Yes or no? This is very similar to I is equal to V by R, which is Ohm's law. Okay, so instead of V, we write E. So let us replace the value of E from equation 1. You get E naught by R sine omega t. Okay, let's call this some equation 2. Right, so when will this current be maximum? If you look at this ex equation 2, you can see that it depends on sine omega t. That means there is a function, a sine function out here. So we know that a sine function has got maximum and minimum values. Yes or no? What is the maximum value of sine? The maximum value of sine is 1, and its minimum value is 0, right? So I here will be maximum if this sine omega t is maximum. That means if its value is 1. Okay, so uh, maximum current is is I max, I max. But then maximum current, what do we call it? We have a name for the maximum current. We call it the peak value of the current, and that is denoted by I naught, right? So this I max is what? Is if, if you replace sine omega t by 1, so you get E naught by R. Okay. Let's call this some equation three. Let's put this in a box here. Is it clear? So therefore, equation two becomes becomes I is equal to I naught sine omega t. This is equation four. Okay. So we have obtained the expression for the alternating current flowing in this circuit. All right. Now let us find the uh, phase relationship. Before that, let us draw the graph of these two. We are going to draw the graph of the alternating EMF and that of the alternating current. All right. And if you look carefully, these two equations, equation one and equation four, they are very, very similar. Yes or no? They are very, very similar. So if you look at this angle part, omega t, here also angle part is the same, omega t. 
so it means that they are vibrating together okay in the same phase all right so let us draw this uh, diagram very quickly so we'll we'll plot uh, both the current and the emf in the same uh, graph itself so that we understand the so that it uh, we yeah we can get the picture of the uh, face how the graph look like okay so first of all the alternating emf e is let's say it is something like this like that okay so this part is the maximum value of the emf right and till here this value is e naught yes or no and this graph represents the emf yes let us plot uh, omega t this side that means the angle okay so the angle here this angle will be pi this will be 2 pi all right and somewhere here is pi by 2 got it now the the current will be of the same form i mean the 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 the, uh, the graph for the current will be of the same form it will be in phase in phase means exactly like this only okay but the only difference is that the amplitude of the current will be smaller you see the amplitude the amplitude means the peak value of the current will be smaller than the peak value of the emf why because i not here is e not divided by r it's e not divided by something so obviously i not here will be smaller than e not are we are we getting the idea here or not right or we can say that e not here is equal to r times of i not so which one is larger e not or i not is larger e not is larger yes or no so when we plot this graph for i not we have to plot it like this same only okay it's something like that all right but then the amplitude i not will be smaller than that of e not okay this part here is i not understand and this graph is the graph for i okay right so now what about the uh, let me rub this part first because it's a bit too long omega t okay let now let us uh, draw the phase relationship between the two this part is y this is x okay now tell me which one is larger e naught or i naught e naught is larger yes or no so e naught is rotating this way it is rotating anti-clockwise right and this angle here is omega t the angle that uh, this vector makes with the x-axis all right so this is let's say e naught okay and i naught it will be along the same line why because they are in phase in phase means you can see only they are vibrating these points these points they are vibrating from the same points right so that is the meaning so i naught will be a little bit short okay same line only but a little bit short why a little bit short because i naught here is smaller than e naught got the idea so this is basically the phaser diagram uh, of um, of uh, of the alternating current and the alternating voltage.